Welcome back to CM's Garage. Today we're back in the garage with the 1968 Beetle. We're gonna do a steering wheel removal and replace. I went ahead and purchased this steering wheel from United Pacific. They're, they're gray color, which is to me is more of like an off-white cream color. I think it matches my interior really well. The original steering wheel, um, is just the uh, standard black. Plan on keeping it, of course, because it's original to the car. I like it, so we'll keep it um, probably displayed in the garage, something like that. I always like to keep the original parts with the vehicle if I ever go to sell it, and it's just good to, to hold on to them anyway. But I like the look of the, the gray off-white steering wheel. I think it matches the interior really well, and it, it's gonna have a great contrast with the green dashboard. So let's go ahead and uh, do the installation on this. First, we'll go ahead and get the black steering wheel removed. So the horn button here pops off really easy. You can see a tab there that holds that in. And then you have the horn wire that needs to be disconnected and then the three screws holding the horn button in. So you're gonna wanna disconnect the battery so you don't have the horn going off on you. So we'll just loosen this horn screw, kind of tuck this wire in, and then you have, you can see you have three screws holding the horn button in, we'll go ahead and loosen these, you want to be careful to not um, lose the springs that are behind these screws, so you, when you're unscrewing it, you want to make sure that you're kind of pushing forward so this thing doesn't fly at you. So we'll very carefully just pull the horn button off and you can see the springs on the back there and the screws in the front. Just be careful not to tip this over so your springs don't go flying all over and you lose them. So we've got one nut holding the steering wheel on. It's a 27 millimeter. So I'm gonna get my impact wrench and we'll take this off. So we've got our impact wrench Too easy. Now that we've spun that nut off, you've got your 27 millimeter nut. There's a washer here. So we'll try not to lose that. As easy as slowly just working the wheel off. You don't need a puller, most likely. There you go. And I am putting a new wheel on, so I wanna kind of remember the positioning here. So it looks like the wheel is just kind of slightly kicked to the right. So I'm gonna to try to get that new wheel in that same position so that when I'm going down the road, the wheel is straight. All right, so go ahead and pull this old one off. Oh, well, I got the wheel off. I've got my new blinker assembly in here. I, I didn't do a video on this one, but uh, my old blinker assembly went out. So I've got the new one in there. Um, fairly inexpensive, I think it was like 30 something bucks on Amazon. It works really well. So let's go ahead and get that new wheel on. Okay, so we've got the new wheel here. You wanna be aware of the uh, where the screws are. So your two screw holes for the horn button go up because this will fit either direction. So make sure you do that and then feed the horn wire through. And then we're gonna put this on at that same position that the other wheel was. So it's slightly to the right. So I think I got it perfect there. Awesome. I like how it looks already. All right, so let's get the horn button installed. Oh, first, we need to get the nut on there. Let's go ahead and reinstall this washer on our 27 millimeter nut. Now for this, I'm not gonna use the impact. Um, just tightening up with the breaker bar is fine. Yeah. 
good and snug. So the steering wheel kit came with some hardware. It came with a new horn button, which I'll probably go ahead and use because the one that I had on the original wheel was aftermarket also. So we'll probably just go ahead and use this new one. And then you've got a new Wolfsburg button. Looks pretty nice. Some new springs, plastic insulators, horn screw. Oh, it looks like these are uh, your horn button or Phillips head. And a new uh, plate here. So that's what the kit comes with. So we'll probably go ahead and use that new hardware. So we've got all our pieces set out here. Now, by looking at the old one that I took off, so we're gonna put this uh, plate on here. And these <clears throat> plastic insulators snap into place. All right, so you've got the insulators on these screws too. So those go through the front here. And putting these uh, little plastic insulator washers on is very important because that's what keeps the horn um, from going off all the time. If you didn't have these on there, as soon as you hook that wire up, your horn would just continuously go off. So it allows it to be connected to the steering wheel, but it only makes contact when you're pushing the button. We'll place our springs on here. Okay. Let's carefully carry this over there and get it installed on the steering wheel. Very carefully. Place it up to the wheel. Line up the springs. And this is a Phillips this time. Screwed them in as evenly as possible right now. And you can see how the, the spring action works on the uh, horn button. And now we'll go ahead and hook up our wire for the, um, the horn and we'll disconnect, we'll reconnect the battery and then we'll just kind of see how it works. Sometimes you have to readjust these screws um, to get the horn to properly function. So let's see. Okay, so now we're, we're gonna go ahead and install that clip that holds the horn wire on. And before we get it completely tightened, we're gonna tuck the wire underneath. Tighten it down. Okay, so our horn does not work. So something isn't making a good connection. All right, we got it. So it was as simple as just tightening these bolts down. Um, this is kind of a demonstration on how the horn works. So if you ground this screw with that, the horn goes off. So now when I push this button, it's working. All right, let's get the center cap back on. 
All right, let's go ahead and install this center cap. There you go. The new wheel is installed. Looks super clean. I like the gray white look. I think it goes really well with my interior. Thanks for coming back to CM's Garage for the 1968 Beetle steering wheel upgrade. I hope this video helps if you plan on doing a steering wheel project of your own on your Beetle. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys coming to the channel. Have a good one.